Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Recently, I've had a lot of comments, which is absolutely amazing, around uh, what products I've been using for styling my hair. Um, you'll note that uh, a couple of weeks back, I, um, and you will see it only as a couple of days ago, uploaded onto my channel, but a couple of weeks back, I had a haircut at Tony and Guy wanting to incorporate a bit of life, a bit of character into my uh, longer length hair, which really struggles to hold a bit of a style or have any life. So it ends up being quite flat and quite characterless. Unfortunately, the person who cut my hair cut into it a little bit too much and left me with lengths which are a little bit thinner than what I liked. However, if I style it the right way and the right uh, products and tricks and sort of tips, um, then I can still have it how I want to have it. But the shampoo I've been using, um, or the family of shampoos and uh, conditioners I've been using, is the Philip Kingsley range. Now, I've covered the Philip Kingsley range uh, quite a few times on my channel. The Density uh, New range we've looked at pretty recently, which is really, really great, with the Density Preserving Serum and the Density Boosting Shampoo Conditioner. So, really great system. It is a premium range system, um, but this what we're looking at today is the bodybuilding uh, shampoo and weightless conditioner. So again, it is a premium range. I would say Philip Kingsley is very much up there with the sort of the more higher end, uh, more higher end of the spectrum of hair care. However, yes, there is an increased cost. Yes, it is more expensive. But however, you don't need to use as much. So I do find that on the high street, some of the shampoos and conditioners I buy, they can be between anywhere between five, 10, 12 pounds. And I have paid more for shampoo. And then again, the same for the conditioner. And you know what? I'm not really making it last that long. Um, and I haven't got tons of hair either. I do find with the shampoo and conditioner by Philip Kingsley, which is 250 mils in the shampoo and 200 mils of the conditioner, it does last and last because you only need to use a very sort of small amount of shampoo once your hair's wet. So about a pea size of the shampoo, sometimes a little bit more. I always shampoo my hair twice, once to get all of the uh, product out from the day, or uh, from washing in the morning, once to cleanse the hair, and then the next uh, second shampoo I use just to sort of knead my scalp, sort of just to look after my scalp environment, sort of take a few moments just to massage the areas of my scalp, which I'm a little bit concerned with, or I want to make sure that my hair and scalp is a little bit more healthy in those areas. So first one to remove all the products, second one for the ingredients in the shampoo to get to work on my scalp environment and the lengths and ends of my hair. So even though they are a little bit more expensive, okay, in terms of cost, they are around the £19.50, £20 each. But if you do shop around, particularly now we're coming to the late end of summer, early autumn, okay, you can start to then buy these in gift sets, of course, coming up for the Christmas period as well. I know that seems a long time off, but perhaps look at treating yourself. That's exactly what I do. I try and make it last throughout the year. And actually, Many of my family have bought me uh, gift sets in Philip Kingsley for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, and then I don't actually have to buy too much of it throughout the year if I want to use this because it is my sort of go-to brand for looking after my hair at the moment. But as all my subscribers will know, there is a lot of products which I recommend, which I hold very dear to my heart because they have got me through some really tricky stages of hair fall um, and stress-related thinning as well. So this I really recommend. Let's talk about it a little bit more. So I know I've spoken about this on my channel before, but... I've had a couple of questions about what I've been using, and I've been using this because this is a absolute saviour if you have got fine hair, thinning hair, hair loss, or possibly just like me, you've been to the hairdressers and they've cut a little bit too much out of your hair, lengths and ends, but yet your, your roots of your hair are still fine, you've still got that bulb, you've still got fine hair, but however, you've got a lot of it. So bearing in mind, styling it, yes, absolutely key to having an amazing head of hair, but please, let's just slow things down here and let's just say, no matter how thin your hair is, no matter how fine your hair is, if you're going through hair loss, if you're a man or a woman, okay, for men's hair can still look super, super cool, super, super smart, and can be absolutely amazing, and for a lady, it can look super, super beautiful, glamorous, and absolutely stunning. So do not beat yourself up about that. The hair, what God granted you, okay, and perhaps as you're getting a little bit older, it's getting a bit finer, perhaps it's getting a little bit more thinner, or perhaps you're on some medications, perhaps you've been going through a really stressful period in your life. Whatever hair you have got is amazing because you are simply amazing, okay? There is only one of you I want to remember that in this world. There is only one of you, and your hair is yours. So no matter how little of it you've got, you can still style it absolutely amazing because remember, you are you and there is nobody else out there like you at all. And as I say, with the right tricks and tips, it can still be absolutely super cool for a guy and super amazingly beautiful for a woman as well. And this is why I like Philip Kingsley because 
it really does make a difference. So with the shampoo here, it's really light. So it's bodybuilding, volumizes and lifts fine, flat, flyaway hair because it's a weightless shampoo. So I want to start in the bathroom. Whenever you're looking at making your hair appear thicker, fuller, or want to have the appearance of more hair, or looking after your scalp environment, thoroughly use. I always don't use don't use too hot water because that can damage your hair as well. Use lukewarm water, and then literally saturate your hair first of all. Take a small amount of shampoo. You really don't need to use too much of this at all. Now I shampoo twice. Some people probably won't agree with that, but I always do. But take a small amount, and then take some time to really knead your scalp. When I say knead, using the flat parts of your fingers, okay, not your nails, because you don't want to be causing any damage, and then literally invigorate your scalp, take a few moments, and if you can, longer, and really just invigorate those areas of your scalp, particularly for men, the hairline, okay, and the scalp, and for a lady, just all over. It can be really relaxing, really therapeutic, and try to do mindfulness. Here's a bit of a tip for you as well, whilst you're doing that with your hair. Don't think of anything. Think of a really positive image, perhaps think of a really lovely holiday destination you're you're up and coming for you or perhaps something you're planning or if you're planning I don't know a wedding or perhaps a really nice date's coming up for you or perhaps you're going to do something with a family in a couple of days time just switch off from stress because that's another thing we really need to control stress in regards to our hair so once that's done okay rinse that through thoroughly okay and then jump in with your conditioner so your conditioner by bodybuilding uh Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Weightless Conditioner, hydrate shorter, fine, flat, flyaway hair, and just let this sit for a couple of minutes if you can, and then rinse it through. It's really lightweight, but it's nourishing, and straight away it really does make you feel as though that your hair is kind of more eloped with body and fullness. It really, really does. So then wash that through, okay, after you've washed that through, okay, what I always do, one of my top sort of tips I would always say for anybody with fine hair is towel dry your hair really really carefully don't be scrubbing with the towel or anything like that at all pat the hair and if you can use a microfiber towel because that does make a little bit of a difference if not use a really soft cotton towel okay but I know a lot of people won't recommend that recommend that because it snags on the hair and it can damage fine or porous or fragile hair or anything like that at all but Work with what you've got. It doesn't have to be super expensive. Of course, you've already got the premium men products. Work with what you've got. Just be really, really delicate with your hair. And when you've got that, take a wide tooth comb, okay, and start from the ends, of, uh, length, lengths and ends of your hair and work up to your roots. After, I always say, let your hair sit just for a little bit, sort of let it dry naturally a little bit. You don't want to be using excessive heat at all. And then take your blow dryer, okay, and with your hands, first of all, flip your head forward. And with your blow dryer in one hand and just using your hand, literally pull your hair up towards the floor, okay? So, sorry, down towards the floor. So if you're flipping your head forward with the blow dryer, okay, I want you to just literally, with your fingers, loosely pull your fingers towards the floor and really get some lightweight volume, that real fullness, that texture building with a with a blow dryer then for the last couple of minutes okay i want you to use a brush like an oblong brush or if you've got a round brush anything like that at all and then carefully stab at the roots don't use pressure don't be pulling your hair at all with a blow dryer and then follow the blow dryer with the brush okay down towards the floor if you can flip your head over if you can't just carefully do it towards the ceiling You'll get the similar effect, but you'll get much more of an impact of volume and fullness and body if you can lean forward. Okay, after that's done and your hair is dry, flip your head back up and you will note straight away you've got much more body, texture and fullness ready for you to go on and style your hair how you want to. Let's have a look at the shampoo in a little bit more detail. So what's in this shampoo here? So let's talk about it a little bit on the back. So bodybuilding shampoo cleanses whilst packing volume and bounce into fine and limp hair. A weightless formula helps to control flyaways and leaves your hair looking and feeling naturally fuller and thicker. And I'd absolutely wholeheartedly agree with that. It is a great shampoo. It's got a really lovely outside sort of outdoorsy smell. Men and women can use it. It's really lovely. It's a very nice treat for your hair. My mum uses this. My father has used this. My twin brother has used this. And my eldest brother has used this. All different hair textures in the family, but fine. But for example, my mum, fine hair, but absolutely lots of it. And it's coloured. My father's got quite coarse hair. Okay, but absolutely fine. My twin brother's got fine hair, but much more thicker hair than me. And my, my eldest brother has got curly hair as well. But this is fine for him as well. So there's something for everybody. And bearing in mind, Philip Kingsley have all different product ranges for different types types of hair type, whether it be uh, processed hair, whether it be coloured, whether it be fine, whether it be uh, moisture balancing. Um, so many different, what was that? <laughs> Couldn't get my words up then. Um, but so many different uh, sort of options to use with Philip Kingsley, and it really does transform your hair. It really, really does, and I can't sort of urge that enough. Um, but in here, it's got some great ingredients. It really does look after the hair. Um, it's 
just invigorating. It packs weight into the hair, but it's not heavy, so it's lightweight, fullness. It, with the finest of hair, this will really, really pack volume, punch, character, life into your hair. It really, really does. Just picking out some ingredients in here as well. Now, I know a lot of people will look at the ingredients straight away, and I do just want to mention this on here, and you'll see straight away, okay, that it has got sulfates in here. So for anybody who's got super fine hair or an agitated scalp, I would say just try it for yourself first of all, and just be a little bit cautious. Always use a small amount of it, but of course there is sulfates in here, and I don't think sulfates are a bad thing. For some people, if you're using it very, very often, you've got a very sensitive scalp, you may need to chop and change between something else or just be really, really careful and perhaps, I don't know, sham don't shampoo so often, possibly, um, but you'll know what will work for you. But let's be open and honest in here. There is a sulfate in here. Um, there are other great ingredients in here as well. Um, we've got hydronized keratin in here, which makes the hair appear fuller, thicker, helps with texture. Um, it really does make the hair uh, appear much more fuller as well. There is a whole host of ingredients in here, which gets to work on your hair, making it appear fuller and thicker. But the real kind of test is trying it yourself. So I would absolutely wholeheartedly recommend this one. I've used it on and off for years, bought it in gift packs, had it for Christmas, one thing and another. Um, I've used it on so many different um, uh, sort of hairstyles which would just help me achieve really really great things and this stuff I absolutely love. Okay uh, conditioner let's have a look on the back here so again ingredients and um, we've got hydrogenized wheat protein in here um, and a few sciencey ingredients in here as well. But just from my kind of experience of knowing what products work and what don't, I can see there's some products in here which really try to if you imagine the cuticle of the hair really tries to pack sort of bulk to that uh, cuticle of hair, almost, if you imagine, eloping itself around the cuticle, just making it appear thicker and fuller until your next shampoo. So both work together, both have, have great uh, potential in helping uh, achieve even somebody with the most finest of hair, having a great full, uh, thicker, fuller looking head of hair, and ultimately you're looking after your scalp environment, you're looking after your legs and ends of your hair, so ultimately you're going to have a much more healthier, fuller, thicker, invigorated head of hair and it's certainly one i would absolutely recommend and for me I've, I've used it today as you can see um you can see where i've had it cut into it's great it's holding the shape i've got a little bit of spray just over it nothing too much um it moves it's soft and it's really really great it's a system which i wholeheartedly recommend for men and women if you've got shorter texture hair it works absolutely brilliant if you've got longer length hair it works amazing if you want those sort of big sort of voluptuous sort of blow dries and things like that. I know my mum does when she goes to the hairdressers and with this she can create that and it really does work. Um, and it adds volume into the root area. As you can see with me, um, lengths and ends, it gives character, it gives life. Um, for men with whatever hairstyle, it gives life into the hair, it gives body, it gives texture. And wholeheartedly, most important thing, it works. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing that with me. Absolutely loved. It's an absolute pleasure to share this one. It's one of my absolute favorites. And until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. And shortly, because I've been using them, um, we're going to be looking at, in fact, I might well do that in just a moment. We're going to look at the moisture balancing, okay, which is just here. In fact, we will go on and do this one. Um, the moisture balancing. Um, and you know what works really, really great is you can use a shampoo with this and you can perhaps use the condition of the moisture balancing or vice versa. You can use the moisture balancing shampoo and use the body uh, building uh, weightless conditioner as well. So that's the great thing with Philip King. So you can shop and change. In fact, I was going to go on and do some editing on the channel, but I think we will just jump straight in and do the moisture balancing. OK, on that note. I'll be seeing you shortly because that's what we're going to be going on and doing. I've just made a spontaneous decision now. <laughs> okay, so wishing you well. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. God bless. Take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.